Hello and welcome to the 2021 pre-commencement celebration of the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences. I'm Dr. Deborah Larson, Director of the School, and it is my pleasure to welcome you on behalf of the faculty and staff of the school. Today, we celebrate graduates from athletic training, health information management and systems, health sciences, medical dietetics, medical laboratory sciences, occupational therapy, physical therapy, radiation therapy, radiography, respiratory therapy, and sonography, as well as our masters in health and rehabilitation sciences. Welcome to all of our graduates and their families and friends. It's not news to any of you that the last 15 months has been a unique and challenging time for all. However, as we gather together or virtually to celebrate these outstanding graduates, we can all feel a sense of having accomplished something truly amazing. We have persevered, learned new technologies, conquered Canvas and Zoom, stayed safe and healthy while also helping our community of students, faculty and staff to arrive at this celebration together. That is truly a reason to celebrate. Congratulations to all of our graduates, their families, and friends for successfully surviving the pandemic to reach this moment in time. We have 512 students earning their degrees this semester, 395 bachelor's degrees, 20 master's degrees, 48 doctorate of physical therapy degrees, and 47 occupational therapy doctoral degrees. We also have our first cohort of master's of respiratory therapy students graduating and our first two students completing the certificate in assistive and rehabilitative technology. Within this group, we also have 89 first-generation college students. Congratulations to you and your families for this achievement. This group of graduates has shown themselves to be tenacious and resilient, flexible and creative, dedicated to their studies and their fellow students, and committed to making this world a better place. You have weathered virtual classes, revised curricula, weekly or twice weekly COVID testing, quarantining, and for some, COVID itself. Yet you maintained your enthusiasm for learning, excelled in your studies, found ways to engage with your fellow students, and came through it all with grace and oppressive accomplishments. While we want to recognize all of our graduates, I want to take a few minutes to acknowledge those that have earned special recognition. Today, we have 231 undergraduate students graduating with Latin and honors. 38 are graduating summa cum laude with a grade point average of three nine and above. 95 are graduating magna cum laude with a grade point average of 3.7 to 3.89. 98 are graduating cum laude with a 3.5 to a 3.69. Congratulations to all of those graduating with Latin and honors. Please note that such honors are not given to graduate students as the degree is considered recognition of excellence on its own. Notably, <laughs> we have four undergraduates and five graduate students that are completing their degrees with a perfect 4.0. The undergraduates are Alexa Breitenstein from Health Sciences, Matthew Freed from Radiologic Sciences, Eleanor Rodehamel from Health Sciences, Alexis Westrick from Health Sciences. And the graduate students are Daniel Gilmore, who's getting a master's in Health and Rehabilitation Sciences, Allison Keim from the Dietetic Internship and MS, Sarah Lacey, who's uh, from the Coordinated Graduate Program in Dietetics, Laura Lauren Mansour, Mansour, who's getting an MS in Health and Rehabilitation Sciences, Lindsay, and Lindsay Boyce, who's in the Occupational Therapy Program. Congratulations to all these students for their exemplary work. Just amazing. Also within this amazing group of students, we have six active military service members, Hannah Gage, Hope Geiger, Callie Jones, Adam Vance, Jackson Watkins, and Madison Willoughby. We also have eight veterans, Jalise Brown, Sergio Gardinas, Alex Conrad, Isabella DeRusso, Braylee Gertner, Brittany Manifold, Corey Potts, and Rachel Shemensky. Thank you all for your service and congratulations on completing your degrees. The university and the school are also dedicated to a research mission in order to advance the science of our fields. Many students participate in research practica over their time here 
and many have found a passion in that experience. Each year, the university hosts a competitive research symposium, selecting only the most compelling projects for presentation. This year, five of our undergraduates presented. Christine Gale in medical dietetics, who was awarded third place, Cassandra Kemper from health sciences, Abriana Cobroth from medical laboratory sciences, Michaela Newman from athletic training, who was awarded third place, and Bryn Scheinberg from medical dietetics, who was awarded second place in their respective categories. We also have four undergraduate students graduating with honors, having met advanced coursework, community service leadership, and or research criteria for that designation. McKenna Black, Gigi Kerber, Jackson Palnuk, Alexis Westrick, and four others are graduating with research distinction, having completed a mentored research project and thesis. These students will be individually recognized later in this ceremony. In addition, Brenna McLaughlin received the OTD Graduate Award for Excellence in Knowledge Translation. In addition, we had 23 students nominated for the Award of Merit, recognizing contributions to leadership, service, and academics. Ten were selected and will also be recognized individually later in the ceremony. As is evident from this list of accomplishments and activities, our graduates have embraced the Buckeye spirit, demonstrating commitment to their studies, advancing the science in our fields, and committing themselves to their programs, the school and university, their professions, and the community. For example, 53 students were involved in various scholars programs. Nine students were student athletes completing competing in men's tennis, women's ice hockey, softball, swimming, synchronized swimming, track, and volleyball. Rebecca Woodson received the OTD Graduate Award for Excellence in Leadership. Caitlin Blankenship received the OTD Graduate Award for Excellence in Clinical Practice. Paige Rombach received the DPT Program's Pat Mahoney Clinical Excellence Award, while Laura Fink received DPT's Lynn Allen Colby Leadership and Service Award. Cody Bailey received the DPT Outstanding Graduate Student Award. Additionally, four DPT students were inducted into the Delta Phi Ta Honor Society. Five respiratory therapy students were inducted into the Lambda Beta Society. And two radiologic sciences students were inducted into the Lambda Nu Society. Wow, congratulations to each of these for their special recognitions. We know that no graduate gets to this stage without the love and support of many. On behalf of the graduates, I'd like to extend a heartfelt thank you to all of the parents, partners, spouses, friends, and others that have provided that support. Now to the graduates. You are destined to enter the workforce at a time of great change and some uncertainty. However, you are well prepared to embrace the future of healthcare, and you are poised to influence how healthcare will look in the coming decades. We believe that each of the graduates will have expanding opportunities in the coming decades and will contribute to improving the health and well being of everyone. Embrace the change that awaits you and make your mark on the future as you have done here in health and rehabilitation sciences. Thank you for all of your hard work, resiliency, and commitment as students. You have truly left your mark on the hearts of the faculty and staff and within the records of the school. Best wishes to each of you as you transition to the next stage of your lives. Greetings, graduates. My name is Manjiri Wen, a HIMSS graduate of 2011. I'm here today as the president of the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences Alumni Society to congratulate you on your big day. I'm so excited to welcome you today into the Buckeye Alumni family and take a few moments to share with you a bit about life after graduation and how Ohio State and HRS are here for you. And so, thank you for providing me with the opportunity to speak to all of you on such an exciting and important day even if it's through a pre-recorded message instead of our usual in-person celebration. No matter the communication channel we use today, the message stays the same. Your years of hard work and dedication to your discipline have finally paid off. And tomorrow, you will graduate from one of the finest allied health programs in the nation. 
And what a better way to congratulate all of you, but with a gift. Each of you will soon receive a letter from the HRS Alumni Society, and enclosed will be a free membership to the Society for the first year. Now, I can understand if I get a few eye rolls and why most of you aren't jumping up and down out of your seats, but I sincerely hope that you consider the opportunity we are presenting to you. The faculty and staff have given you the groundwork, the knowledge, and hopefully the courage to go after whatever you want in life. I encourage you to realize those opportunities and find out within yourself the reasons to come back. Not necessarily come back to Owl Hall, but come back as an alum and give back in some way. Our alumni members have a proud history of profound contributions in healthcare, and you will all be no different. The HRS Alumni Society hosts all types of alumni events throughout the year, from networking trivia to wine tastings, and of course, a homecoming weekend celebration. Many of our alums stay connected via social media, engaging in mentoring opportunities, hosting practice placements for students, and even being part of the alumni board. It doesn't matter how big or small your participation is, just plant the seed now and make it part of your future. I promise, as soon as ready as you are to get out of here, in just a few short years, you'll want to come back. And being part of this board has helped me get that sense of community back. So while you venture forth as new alumni of Ohio State, I urge you to consider engaging with a vast network of alumni wherever you may be in the world. I've been actively involved within our school's alumni society for the past 10 years, and I can proudly say that it has truly been, my life has truly been impacted. The HRS Alumni Society's purpose is to help you stay connected to OSU. Because believe it or not, you have at least one thing in common with those who come before you. You can sit down with a total stranger and build and develop an instant rapport over stories of Mirror Lake, Thompson Library, and even Atwell Hall, and all other things Ohio State. After tomorrow, you will be an official alumni of the Ohio State University. I hope you stay connected with the school and the Alumni Society, and I hope to see you at a future alumni event. We wish you the very best in your career. Your fellow alumni are rooting for you. So congratulations and welcome to the Buckeye family. Hello, my name is Marsha Nehikian Nelms, and I am Director of Academic Affairs in the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences in the College of Medicine. I am not the first, nor will I be the last, to confirm what you probably already know. HRS students are some of the hardest working and the most dedicated on campus. It takes a lot to make it through the tough coursework in each of our majors. You all have heard all about the, along the way, biochemistry, anatomy, physiology, and all of that was just getting ready for the hardest part of their major. Our students ha all have essentially worked full time during their clinical training and their internships. And still they have made the time to give back to their school, the university, the community, and their own profession. This year in particular, though, has posed significant hardships for our students when they have had to navigate rapid shifts in their education. Clinicals for many programs were canceled from the beginning of March until mid-June last spring. Classes were moved online, and many opportunities for volunteer experiences were unavailable. These students have, had to require, have required significant flexibility, resiliency, and dedication. But I am convinced that our world will be a better place as each of you go out to take care of our country's health care needs. You are the future leaders of health care. The students today who have received the Award of Merit, our highest award in the school, have set that bar a little higher with their outstanding achievements during a time of significant stress and hardship. So let me tell you a little bit about each one of our awardees. The first is Emma Austin. Emma will graduate cum laude from medical dietetics with a 3.686 GPA. What an impressive young woman. She has excelled in both academics and service to the community. Amanda's leadership service has been noted with her active involvement in her student and professional organizations. Emma was selected as one of the first interprofessional scholars at Ohio State. Our IP scholars are working directly with the Partners Achieving Community Transformation Organization. 
As part of an interprofessional team, Emma has been working to address health needs on the Columbus Near East Side to improve digital literacy and enable access to important community care and services to older adults within this community. While at OSU, Emma has already taken steps to move forward in her profession as she created a food and nutrition website centered around recipe development and food photography. In order to accomplish this, Emma took food photography and business marketing cl classes and gained skills in web creation and social media marketing, search engine optimization. So you will agree that Emma has taken advantage of her educational opportunities here at Ohio State, making the most of every opportunity she has had. Congratulations. Darnie Bush will graduate from our Division of Respiratory Therapy, where she has completed her research distinction project entitled Respiratory Therapist's Role in End-of-Life Care. Darnay has been a significant leader on campus. She was chosen as a lead scholar ambassador for the Young Scholars Program within the Office of Diversity and Inclusion. Darnay has provided a significant amount of time creating and providing guidance for high school students that would support their interest in higher education. Additionally, Darnay took on the responsibility as an academic success partner, where she mentored five minority first-generation freshmen every week to assist with their transition from high school to college. Darnay has, like many of our students, worked multiple part-time jobs during college and most recently has worked as a respiratory care assistant at Nationwide Children's Hospital. Congratulations, Darnay, for your academic success and for supporting other students throughout your time at Ohio State. Brianna Carr will graduate cum laude from the Medical Dietetics Program with a 3.6796 cumulative GPA. As many of her colleagues here, Brenna has demonstrated a strong dedication to her profession, her program, and school. Brenna has served as an officer for the Student Dietetic Association and was chosen to be on the HRS Leadership Academy. Brenna has completed volunteer work at the Broad Street Food Pantry and the Collegiate Professional Sports Dietetic Association. Despite her rigorous academic requirements, Brenna has worked throughout her academic program as a nursing assistant an assistant with OSU Rec Sports, and as a teaching assistant with the Department of, An of Anatomy. Congratulations, Brenna. Matthew Freed is a student within our, radiologic with it, within our radiation therapy program in radiologic sciences, who will graduate with a 4.0 GPA and with the Latin in honor of summa cum laude. Matthew has also demonstrated significant leadership by serving in the HRS Leadership Academy and the Ohio State Student Ambassador Program. Matthew has worked as part-time part -time throughout his academic training, both at home in Arlington, Ohio, and as a student intern in the Department of Radiation Oncology. Our health community has benefited from his volunteer service as a patient access ambassador at the James Cancer Hospital, with Habitat for Humanity, and with his home church. Congratulations, Matthew. Cassandra Kemper, is a student with our, within the health science program, minoring in disability studies, and will graduate magna cum laude with a 3.742 GPA. While completing the requirements to graduate with research distinction, she also completed a thesis under the directions of Drs. Kroc and Clutter titled The Association of Social Support and Income on the Nutritional Status and Physical Activity of Older Female Cancer Survivors. She presented her findings at the OSU's 2021 Denman Research Forum. Cassandra also has an impressive service history, working with multiple organizations supporting children with a range of abilities and cultural backgrounds. This has included Rally Cap Sports, providing one-on-one -on -one assistance to children with special needs, the Bluefish Swim School, which provides swim activities for children with disabilities, mentors for kids with the Columbus Public Schools, and as a student volunteer at the Dodd Rehab Hospital, Wexner Medical Center, and at Hoagland Learning Center, where she worked with children diagnosed with autism and other developmental disorders. Congratulations, CJ. Gigi Kerber is also a student in our health sciences program, minoring in both sociology and statistics, and will graduate magna cum laude with a 3.845 GPA. Gigi completed her honors research with, with Dr. Pinchak, examining the correlation between health insurance coverage and women's reproductive health care access. 
Gigi has provided service as a student representative for the HRS Honors and Research Committee and with OSU University Exploration Program. Congratulations, Gigi. Abriana Groboth will graduate from our medical, tori, me, medical laboratory science program, cum laude, with a minor in clinical si psychology. Abriana has maintained a 3.677 GPA and completed an honors thesis. The effect of dexmethasone, ACE dex, microparticles on pro inflammatory macrophages. Abriana has served as a university ambassador, leading campus tours for prospective students, families, community organizations, and special guests. She additionally has had the opportunity to study abroad to Prague and the Czech Republic. Her significant service has included volunteering at the James Cancer Hospital, the American Red Cross, and for Buckeye Thon, which generates millions of dollars each year for Nationwide Children's Hospital. Congratulations, Abriana. Michaela Newman is a student in athletic training, training who will graduate with a 3.985 GPA with, with Latin honors summa cum laude. Michaela has completed two research distinction pro projects, the relationship between anxiety and depression scores and musculoskeletal injury versus concussion in an adolescence, and the second, norm normative musculoskeletal ultrasound measurements of the patellar tendon in adolescent athletes under the guidance of Drs. Boucher and Onati. Michaela is a Dunn Sport and Wellness Scholar, a Moral Scholar, a Sesquicentennial Scholar, and has served as the president of the Athletic Training Club. Michaela has significant work, volunteer work, including the Allstate Hot Chocolate Run, Nationwide Children's Columbus Marathon, and OSU's Buckeye Thon. Additionally, Michaela has provided service to both the university and the school, where she volunteered to assist with the development of a video series that is a key component of our interprofessional curricula. Congratulations, Michaela. Vanessa Petronik is a student within our Health Sciences program, minoring in psychology, and who will graduate with a 3.98 GPA, summa cum laude. Vanessa is also a member of the International Scholars Program. Vanessa's passion for research is demonstrated by her work in three different research labs where she has assisted with seven research studies. Her st service to the community has assisted children with autism, learning disabilities, and developmental delays. Vanessa's commitment to service has also extended to the Down Syndrome Association of Central Ohio. Vanessa has worked as an assistant in the Health Sciences Library, where she works to catalog new donations and provides inventory for medical-related artifacts to be held in our Medical Heritage Center. Congratulations, Vanessa. Stephanie Reeling is graduating summa cum laude with a GPA of 3.966 from our Health Sciences Program with a minor in Disability Studies and Integrative Approaches to Health and Wellness. Stephanie's involvement in all things Buckeye has led her to her service with Best Buddies OSU, where she mentors adults with disabilities, Project HEAL that works to raise awareness for individuals with eating disorders, and works to raise funds for their treatment, Pen Pals at OSU, which is a mentorship program that matches an underprivileged elementary school student with a student at Ohio State, and for Project Sunshine. Stephanie has worked during her undergraduate training as a behavioral technician providing care for children with autism, as a home health aide for an adult with cerebral palsy, and as a personal trainer at an adaptive gym for adults with disabilities. Congratulations. Paige Snyder is a student in our Health Information and Management Systems program, minoring in integrative approaches to health and wellness, and will graduate magna cum laude with a GPA of 3.852. Paige has demonstrated significant leadership by serving as a student ambassador in HRS, playing an active role in the HIMSS student organization, and as a, membership, as a member of the Student Leadership Committee of the Central Ohio Healthcare Financial Management Association. This committee is a new organization that Paige has played a role in creating opportunities for students to connect to their future professional organization. Congratulations, Paige. Tara Beth Weaver is a student within our Radiologic Sciences Division and will graduate summa cum laude with a 3.947 GPA. While completing the requirements to graduate with research distinction, she has completed research exploring chronic ch changes in the vascular perfusion of organs for post 
COVID-19 survivors, and a second project focused on the screening asymptomatic patients with ultrasound to assess their risk of a cardiovascular event. Tara has de demonstrated an impressive service history, working with peers advancing literacy in students, as well as her professional organization, the Society of Diagnostic Medical Sonographers. Congratulations, Tara. Allison Williams is also from Health Information Management Systems and will graduate magna cum laude with a GPA of 3.823. Allison has been an active member of our women's club water polo team during her time at OSU, which required significant commitment to both practice and traveling during competition season. Despite commitment to both academics and athletics, Allison's service has included in her work as a student ambassador for the school and as the membership chair for the Student Leadership Committee of the Central Ohio Healthcare Financial Management Association. Congratulations, Allison. So please join me in congratulating all of our Award of Merit winners. I know you can agree with me that we are in good hands with these young leaders as they move forward to take the helm of their respective professions in research and healthcare. Hi. I'm Jill Clutter, Director of the Honors Program in the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences, and I have the distinct pleasure of recognizing this year's seniors who are graduating from honors, with honors from our school. Our Honors Program is designed to create a breadth of experiences that are aligned with the University Honors Program goals of global awareness, original inquiry, academic enrichment, leadership development, and service engagement. To graduate with honors from the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences, each student completed activities across these domains designed to facilitate development in each of these core areas. These activities reflect experiences that go above and beyond their degree program requirements to ensure extraordinary experience worthy of such a distinction. Students graduating this year with honors designation from the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences are McKenna Elise Black in the Health Sciences Program. She will continue her work at her current job at Nationwide Children's Hospital on the Neuroscience Neurosurgery Unit while she applies to the Physician Assistant Graduate Programs. Gigi Rose Kerber, Health Sciences Program. She has accepted a position in Cigna's Managed Care Rotational Program in Charlotte, North Carolina, and she'll be applying for a graduate school program in healthcare administration in the future. Jackson Palnick, Health Sciences Program. He'll be applying to Physician Assistant Graduate Programs starting next month. Alexis Rose Westrick, Health Sciences Program. She's currently deciding which medical school offer to accept. So congratulations to this year's seniors who are graduating with honors from the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences. So we also have several students who will graduate with special designation from the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences by completing an undergraduate research thesis. Conducting a thesis means gaining an exposure to the research process while developing, performing, and presenting the results of their research project under the guidance of a faculty member. The following students completed theses during their undergraduate academic careers and will graduate with research distinction. Kristen Smith Gales from Medical Dietetics. Her thesis was the examination of the prevalence of a positive hydrogen breath test with dietary intake in patients with irritable bowel syndrome. Dr. Kristen Roberts is her advisor. Abriana Elise Kroboth from Medical Laboratory Science. Her thesis was the effect of dexamethasone, ACE-DEX 
microparticles on pro-inflammatory macrophages, and Dr. Maria Gural was her advisor. Elizabeth Ann Pinnix from Health Information Management and Systems. Her thesis was exploring trust and distrust in the desired use of beta blocker clinical reminder, a secondary analysis. Dr. Jennifer Garvin was her advisor. And Bryn Lee Scheinberg from Medical Dietetics. Her thesis was the examination of dietary patterns, fiber, and micronutrient intake in patients with celiac disease. Dr. Kristen Roberts was her advisor. So we have a special thanks to these advisors for their mentorship throughout this process and a big congratulations to these young researchers. This is quite an accomplishment. Once again, I want to extend congratulations to each graduate, their families, and friends. Why well, I would love to be standing on a stage preparing to shake each of your hands and give each of you a certificate, acknowledging the completion of your program. Each program has identified a way to provide those to you. Instead, I wish you and yours health and safety during this crisis and a future filled with the same successes that you've experienced as students. Now we will transition to division-specific celebrations. Enjoy and go box. On behalf of the Ohio State University School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences, I extend my sincere congratulations and best wishes to our class of 2021. We are so proud of your accomplishments. You have exhibited incredible strength, flexibility, and commitment in these extraordinary times. You have been exceptional representatives of the school and university. As you embark on the next stage of your career, I urge you to always remember why you chose your respective path and the sacrifices that you have endured to make it happen. You should always strive to serve our community by helping to improve the quality of life and health of its members. I would like to give special thanks to the parents, grandparents, family, and friends of our graduates for their patience, understanding, sacrifices, and continued support during these unique and challenging times. Although your guidance and encouragement will continue to be needed and appreciated in the coming years, you should all be proud of your collective accomplishment and look forward to the opportunities and challenges ahead. In the years to come, I would ask that you not forget the university, your former professors, and your fellow Buckeye classmates. I encourage you to continue to give back to the university by supporting its sports, activities, and scholarship. Please remember to also keep us updated on the many achievements you will experience in your careers and personal lives. We always take great pride in your achievements. Congratulations again to our 2021 Health Sciences graduates. The entire School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences is very proud of you. Please take care, remain committed to your goals, and stay in touch. I present the Bachelor of Science in Health Sciences for 2021. Anthony Abadia. Angelique Madison Allen. Jordan Edward Anderson. Carly Ann Archambo. Laura Elizabeth Artrip. Casey Bike. Erica Ra Rachel Balancio. Libby Joy Ball. Lauren Kathleen Bartosik. Bailey Beiser. Cameron Nicole Bellish. Kayla Berezin. Elizabeth Helen Bergman. Christina M. Bertram. Anish Anup Bhatt. McKenna Elise Black. Samantha Janine Blashinsky. 
Martina Blazovic, Madison Jewel Blevins, Rachel Nicole Brackman, Taylor Marie Brady, Alexa Breitenstein, Autumn Jade Brown, Jalise Ellen Brown, Braden Nicholas Budd, Kevin Ty Boy, Sydney K. Birch, Devin Brianne Calabrese, Holly Grace Carlson, Taylor Lynn Carruthers, Caitlin Michael Carpenter, Karen Elizabeth Carter, Ranim Shaban, Fiona Claire Chambers, Taylor Ann Chatlos, Shishi Chen. Hi kids, um, coming to you from my outdoor office today. Um, just with my sidekick here, sorry about that, that's Eddie. Um, anyway, it's been quite a year, um, one that I wouldn't have wished on you guys at all, but um, you've made it through, which is a really cool thing. You have to give yourself credit for that. So it's, uh, as usual with almost everything, it's sort of like looking at things in terms of uh, being a little bit bittersweet, uh, maybe a little more bitter than sweet this year. But anyway, um, I hope you look back on this with fond memories. You'll have memories of some sort, that's for sure. Um, and thinking uh, <laughs> about your futures, which um, I'm excited to find out about. Uh, I hope you remember to uh, to write in or check in every once in a while so we can tell what you're, what you're up to. Uh, but you've got so many uh, really cool things that you guys are doing in the future, and I, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Um, please make sure that you're, you're part of the change um, because you all have it within you, and that's the really important piece, though. So, um, enjoy your graduation. It's all about you that day, so uh, make somebody take you to lunch or dinner um, and enjoy some time with your family and friends. But most of all, make sure that you uh, really celebrate yourself on that day because it's really important that you do that. Anyway, take care. Hope to see you in the future. Sarah Elizabeth Chovitz, Natalie L. Cipriano, Lauren B. Clark, Maria Adrian Claypool, Max Stephen Cobb, Madison Claire Cochelle, Hannah Marianne Codner, Mariona N. Connor, Alexa Marie Conrad, Alexandria Marie Cookson, Jarrett Scott Crow, Carly Marie Cullion, Jennifer Lynn Curtis, Amanda Marie D'Ambrosia, Sasha Zarxis Daroga, Elizabeth Hope Davis, Christian Davis Deerdorf, Gabrielle DeCastiker, Caitlin Ashley Deer, Grace Margaret DeLuca, Taylor Ray Ann Dewey, Karina DeMaio, Lana Alexandria Doan, Jenna Grace Dombey, Hannah Louise DeRobeck, Seth Alexander Douglas, Jennifer Rose Dowling, Anna Lee Duncan, Samuel Durkin, Isabella Louise Durso, Selma Ennen, Rachel Elaine Erb, 
Rebecca Estevez, Abby Catherine Evans, Kyla Elizabeth Evans. Congratulations, Health Sciences graduates. Even though we can't be together uh, for this pre-commencement, the faculty, myself included, want to congratulate you on your remarkable achievement. It's truly amazing what you've accomplished during this stressful and uncertain time, and it just speaks to your perseverance and resilience. I'm confident that you will do great things in the healthcare field. Again, I congratulate you and wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Ashley Nicole Evoy. Hope Elizabeth Farabee, Dale Farrow Harris, Olivia Natalie Flippo, Sienna Float, Emma May Freeman, Emily Sue Freiberg, Grace Diane Fruth, Braley Eileen Gartner. Hannah Gage, Tyler Thomas Gehring, Peyton Noel Galbraith, Ashwini Ganesh, Hope Noel Geiger, Zachary David Geiger, Andrea Marie Gilliland, Abigail Kashan Gerard. Matthew Christopher Glenn, Brooke Catherine Ann Glessenkamp, Allison Grace Greathouse, Connor Alexander Gregory, Linda Rose Hall, Anna Marie Hansen, Elena Harder, Lauren Stanton Hickman, Sophie Rose Hill, Kirsten Nicole Hoffman, Emily Shadon Homan, Liza Alexandra Hoops, Victor Alexander Inca, Sheridan Nicole Ely, Anne Madison Imbus. Carly Ryan Ingram, Rachel Lynn Yeager, Rami Khaled Jashan. Congratulations, class of 2021. So it's been a minute, but when I was a student at Ohio State, they had the university had this big marketing campaign called Do Something Great. And I actually really enjoyed that campaign because they brought in students and faculty and all these different experts from across disciplines at Ohio State to talk about whatever it was they were doing. And it did a great job of showing how passionate all these people were about what they did at Ohio State um, and how many different ways there were to be great at something while at Ohio State. And so I'm thinking of this now as you're all graduating, because not only have you demonstrated your passion in getting to this point and in, in getting through all of this coursework and all these experiences, and not only have you done something great in graduating from the Ohio State University, you've done it under the most extraordinary circumstances that I could possibly imagine. I am in awe of your ability to adapt and adjust and keep going. Um, so congratulations to each and every one of you for the outstanding work that you've put in, not only in the last year, but in the last four or five years to get to this point. Um, congratulations. Go Bucks. Uh, take a minute and maybe just celebrate for a little bit because you, you've earned it big time. Go Bucks. Go Bucks. Can you say Go Bucks? Go Bucks. Yeah. Woo hoo. Julie Marie Jaxie. Zaina Omar Jaraba, Macy Capri Yaros, Erin Elizabeth Jarvis, Melinda Johnson, Mary Anita Johnston, Kaylee Celeste Jones, Sydney Marie Jones, Savannah Rose Katamaglu. Cicely Grace Kelleher, 
Cassandra Jean Kemper, Aileen Rachel Kennedy, Gigi Rose Kerber, Nicole Marie Kurth, Jer Tyler Kessinger, Erica A. Kick, Jordan Tyler Knox, Kelly Renee Colmer, Sophia Renee Kolovich, Anna Constantinidis, Megan Eileen Krelwitz, Carolyn Gemma Kruthoff, Elizabeth Ann Kuntz, Abigail Lauren Kuntz, Jayla Ann Kennard, Cody S. Lamb, Emily K. Landon, Jacob William Lay, Lauren Faith Lemons, Megan Colleen Levandusky, Yifi Lee, Abigail Lisowski, Julia Catherine Longcar, Athena Ann Lowe, Christina Lucart. Congrats, class of 2021. You did it. I'm proud of you. So I guess I will leave you with something you hear me say a thousand times. Be kind in the wide world. Uh, practice radical empathy. Be respectful. Be courageous. Use your voice. And you know what this means. Be the person at the table. Good luck in the wide world. Stop by the hallowed halls of Atwell and see me if you are ever around. Bye. Priya Lula. Morgan Lutz. Megan Elizabeth Lee. Morgan Huyun Lee. John Connor Lynch. Emma Helen Harris Maltes. Brittany Manifold. Hannah Elizabeth Marek. Seth Daniel McAtee. Alec John McLean. Caitlin Fiona McKenna. Aubrey Rose McLaughlin. Megan McMenny. Lauren J. Medland. Margaret Elizabeth Meeks. Abigail Mergler. Grace Lauren Miller. Samantha Lee Miller. Sarah Justine Miller. Marcus Reynard Lambert Mirandela. Keely Rose Moore. Megan R. Moore. Alexandria Elise Moran. Cameron Markel Mori. Logan Richard Moorhead. Lena Faith Mossing. Astrid Christine Munth. Jenna Lynn Murphy. Jessica Brooke Murphy. Jacob Patrick Myers. Taylor Ray Needs. Allison Ann Novotny. Nellie Nidham. Chastity Oatman. Sarah Kalechi Okafor. Hi, class of 2021. Congratulations, you made it. I'm so proud of you. I know you will all go on to do amazing things. Whether your next step is lined up or still to be determined, you've got this. And you're going to do amazing things. I hope you can reflect on some of your time in HRS with gratitude and smiles. I know it's been a lot of hard work, but that hard work has paid off and your creativity and perseverance have not gone unnoticed. I feel really blessed to have had each and every one of you in my classes and I look forward to seeing what you do next. I look forward to working with many of you in the future. You should celebrate, you should revel in all of your hard work. 
And I want to leave you with two pieces of advice. The first, carpe diem even if it's a crappe diem. Yeah, that was the theme of my high school graduation speech. But really, seize the day even if it's non-ideal circumstances. You've already proved you know how to do that. And the other piece of advice is be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Continue to advocate for yourself and advocate for those who you see not having a space at the table. You are amazing. Remember, all policy is health policy. And my last piece of advice, I learned the hard way. And that is, if you're going to throw confetti in a video, practice it being at the end of the video, not at the beginning of the video, because it's very hard to clean up. Congratulations. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and an amazing life ahead of you. Ryan Overstrom. Nishkala Palachandra. Jackson Palenik. Elizabeth Paradis. Sungmin Park. Kelsey Parcel. Sweeta Patel. Rachel Faith Perlstein. Vanessa Ann Petronic. Anya Angela Petrenko. Zachary Thomas Pfeiffer. Benjamin David Piller. Lauren Ann Place. Evan Simon Plummer. Emily Poitinger. Caitlin Elizabeth Poor. Claire Elizabeth Posto. Corey Michael Potts. Sierra Madison Puckett. Lara Catherine Quirk. Katrina Nicole Ranzies. Jenna N. Rao. Deepthi Reddy. Stephanie Marie Railing. Fanny Isela Reyes. Alexis Sierra Reynolds. Eleanor Jean Rodenhamel. Annika Lynn Ryan. Abigail Samantha Rice. Destani Danae Roberts. Rebecca Roth. Carlin Noel Rolson. Elizabeth Court Rummy. Julia Rose Ryan. Ya Saki. Congratulations, class of 2021. What a year it's been. I've had an opportunity over the last few years to see just how hardworking, dedicated, intelligent, and resilient each and every one of you can be. I wish you the best of luck in whatever's next, and I know that you'll be prepared for whatever comes your way. You'll always have a home here at The Ohio State University, so don't hesitate to come back and check out the campus and say hello. Again, congratulations as you finish your years here as an Ohio State Buckeye. Best of luck. Go Bucks. Monica Sambo. Isabella Olympia Sansone. Abigail Catherine Sapp. Elizabeth Shepers. Nicole M. Shippenjern. Carly Jo Schmidt. Abigail Brianne Schneider. David John Schrock. Aliana Ray Schwerber. Ashley Marie Sembeck. Sahana Seth. Leanne Nicole Shanklin. Yamuna Sharma. Ian Sheets. Rachel Diane Shemensky. Marinda Diane Schell. Sydney Marie Sleeper. Benjamin Aaron Smith. 
Taylor Rebecca Spence, Hannah Nicole Spizak, Kennedy Lauren Stakely, Paige O. Starkey, Elena Nicole Stewart, Chelsea Suzanne Strickland, Grace Ann Stewart, Catherine Ann Stump, Vivian Kwan Su, Lance Allen Talmaj III, Brooke Alexis Taylor, Alyssa Renee Teeter, Michael James Thomas, Maya Thomas Bank, Aaron Lewis Thompson, Lauren Tucker, Diego Armando Valdez, Greetings, graduates of 2021. The faculty are excited that you guys have made it to this journey, and we're excited to see what you do in the future. I want to say a few words and just try to inspire you in this time of COVID. What a crazy time it's been. But you've endured, you've done well, and today is your day. I hope you'll enjoy the entire weekend with family and friends. But I do want to say, I hope that you will love, wish, dream, be, just like all this sign says, but with such positivity that you can move our world forward. We're looking forward to your leadership and, and know that you'll do great things, whatever you choose that'll be. We certainly wish each of you well and hope that you'll continue your journey in health sciences. Help take care of the world. You got this and the faculty believe in you like we always have. We want each of you to be well and go forward being part of that Buckeye Union. We hope that you'll stay in touch with us as you move through your careers and go do great things. Bridget Kathleen Vedra, Alexandria Elizabeth Veerling, Megan Elizabeth Wade, Ji Wen Wang, Jacob Y. Waredi, Ann Elizabeth Warner, Abigail Lynn Varshowski, Brandon Richard Welch, Alexis Rose Westrick, Emily Sarah Weikert, Nia Ravon Williams, Madison Willoughby, Chloe Wise, Lauren Elizabeth Witt, Karen Wu, Jessica Yan, Yumeno Taylor Young, Riley Ann Yusko, Rebecca Zavon, Caitlin Marie Rose Zingsheim, Taryn Elise Zwissler, 